Hello, Jonathan Landeros with Kativ Technologies, and welcome to Stop Scene Red, using DWF markups with Autodesk Inventor. I'm going to start out with an Inventor drawing, and I want to send this to someone to review my drawing. I don't want to print this out or walk it down the hall or, or put it in the mail, so instead I'm going to export to a DWF. And I can enable measuring, printing of markups, or disable that if I need to. Decide which properties to export, as well as how many sheets I want to send out. In this case, we'll just do sheet two. So I'm going to go ahead and publish that out now. And I'll just drop it on my desktop and save the file. Now it will open in Design Review. And this might be the reviewer who's taking a look at the file now inside of Design Review. And they can look at the file, zoom in, zoom out, check dimensions switch to the 3D model, rotate and look at the 3D model so they can really soak in this component and see exactly what it looks like, and then switch back to the drawing where we're going to go ahead and do a markup because we do see something we want to change. So I'll add a cloud and a leader, and I'm going to indicate that I want to take this mortise joint out. It takes another setup on another machine to go ahead and put in, and we don't need it. It doesn't really help us in this case, so we can save some time and money by removing it. I put in my note, and then I save my DWF. And at this point, I could go ahead and email it back to the person who created the drawing. So now we're back on the drafter's desk, looking at the inventor drawing, and I'm going to go ahead and open the DWF that I've received from the reviewer. So I'll go ahead and go to Inventors Open. Make sure to switch your files of type to DWF Markup. And select the DWF that I received. Choosing Open, it now goes ahead and it overlays the markup right on top of my Inventor drawing so it can ex see exactly what I need to change and go ahead and change it. So now I'm opening the Inventor part and I'm deleting that mortise joint that I was told to go ahead and take out. So now I can hit OK, and I'll save my part, which of course propagates down to the drawing. And then I can right click in my browser and mark that DWF or that markup as being done. Then I can save my inventor drawing, which of course we want to do after we make those changes. And then I can also save the DWF markup again and send it back to the person who reviewed the file. And why would I want to do that? Well, if we switch back to Design Review, I can open up the DWF that I've circled back with. And I get a highlight that indicates, yep, these markups were completed. As the reviewer, if I look at it, I can see the notes, see a note down here that indicates it was definitely completed. I can even go back and change the, sta the status if we needed to make some more changes. Or I can archive it and save that record for later. So there you are, an example of how to take a DWF and inventor and circle back red lines. Thanks for watching, everybody. That's it for this week.